Herbs for Cancers. Yo, 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 good people. It's your homie Herb Man. Busting you back upside the head with another hot banger. Boogie. Hey, look, I want to talk to you guys today about herbs that can really be useful in aiding us if we're dealing with cancer, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you off the top that the biggest cure for cancer is prevention in itself, okay? So this is going to mean really, really taking hold on to your health while you are healthy, okay? I'm really uh, an advocate for those people to take herbs while you're in your prime, while you're already healthy, so that you can maintain your health. Prevention is cheaper than a cure, you guys, all right? So with that being said, the herbs can help improve, but the earlier that we're able to catch these particular growths in our bodies is the best way we can really provide uh, a high percentage of, of effectiveness and able to uh, resolve our issues when we're dealing with these cancers, okay? So the earlier we catch it in the earlier stages, the better off the results will be, all right? So let me introduce you to some of these herbs. All right, now you have sheep sorrel right here. You guys do your research on these herbs, but these are going to be very beneficial for you, okay? Sheep sorrel is very good for cancers, lung cancers. Uh, chaparral is very good at getting things out of the blood, okay? Um, periwinkle also is very good for uh, shrinking tumors and being anti-tumorous and anti-cancer uh, growth. Mistletoe as well is very good at getting things out of the blood and shrinking tumors. Uh, Pau Dialco is very good at uh, things like bacterial infections and stuff like that and very good being a blood tonic. Cleavers is also a very good herb for any type of cancer, but definitely lung cancers and blood cancers and anything that you want to get out of your blood, cleavers is good for as well. Uh, go to cola is a very good herb to utilize in a lot of the blends um, just because it kind of uh, adds in some stability in there, right? Uh, pot root, very good for breast cancers and stuff like that. Uh, red clover is very good for, again, cleansing the blood and getting the toxins out, okay? And violet leaf will be another one that's very good. Now, you can do your research and try to get you some, and some of these, some of these concoctions are going to be very beneficial at aiding you, all right, in improving your health when it comes to cancer. Remember that cancer is just an uncontrollable growth of cells. So we're going to need something that's going to stop the growth, cleanse the blood from all the impurities, and really start to affect the tumors, man. So I hope you guys understand this. I love you guys. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Till next time, love her, man.